This is the best of the university's quiz challenge. Ten universities from across Zimbabwe. University of Zimbabwe, Great Zimbabwe University, the National University of Science and Technology, Lupana State University, Chinoy University of Technology, Midland State University, Harare Institution of Technology, Bindura University of Science Education, Gwanda State University, and Manikalan State University of Applied Sciences. Which team will be the last standing to become the first champion of the best of the university's quiz challenge? Yeah, I'm Vanessa Tiamidu, and I'm here with Team Busei. Busei, which stands for? Busei, that's Pindura University of Science Education. You guys went in there. I liked the energy. I liked the vibe. But when you came back, you were a bit, you know. So I want to find out, are you guys getting cold feet now? No, no. we're not. Uh, we, since we are Busei, our team name is Buselect, which means we've been selected because of our, the knowledge that we've got. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As you can see, these guys are excited. I'm excited. Keep tuned in. Tell a friend to tell a friend to watch the best of the University's Quiz Challenge 2019. And me and Buse will catch you next time, yeah? Before we start off with the Quiz Challenge, let's take a look at how the teams were selected in their respective groups. Group A, Cut versus GZU. Group B, Nast versus GSU. Group C, Muswasi versus Heat. Group D, LSU versus Buse. Group E, MSU versus UZ. This will be the first set of our round one. Only top eight out of ten will make it into round two. Now let's begin. And welcome to the best of the university's quiz challenge. I am your quiz master, Tembani Kumalo, and today we are joined by Lupane State University and Bindura University of Science and Education. Without wasting much of your time, I will let them introduce themselves. Starting with my left. Hello, uh, we are Bindura University of Science Education students, and um, we are Boo Select, that's our team name. Uh, with me here, I have uh, Trish Senger and Justin Tapa Tapa, and myself, Octane Kambezo. Thank you. <coughs> to my right. Hello, viewers. My name is Brian Ilobu, and we are from Lupana State University. Here, my colleagues with me are with uh, Credence Delezi and Tandiwe. Um, where is Lupani? In which province? Uh, Lupan is material in the North province. Interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember today's show is proudly brought to you by Saywat in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Child Care, the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education, Science and Technology Development, and the Embassy of Sweden in Zimbabwe. Now, I'll explain the rules of the game. So, each segment of the show is going to be divided into four questions, and the, the, and the teams are going to have one minute to answer two questions where they are going to write them down on a piece of paper. They are going to give me the piece of paper, and I'm going to allow them to read out the questions so that our esteemed panel of adjudicators can deliberate. Are you guys ready? Yes. Uh, thank you. Question number one. What does the abbreviation LGBTIQ stand for? And question number two, what does the abbreviation STI stand for? I'll repeat the questions. Question number one, what does the abbreviation LGBTIQ stand for? And question number two, what does the abbreviation STI stand for? There's a lot of misconception around STIs. It's time we break the silence as young people and start talking about these issues. What do you know about STI as a young person? Catch us live on Facebook and engage with us and join the conversation at the best of the university's quiz challenge. Quizmaster, take it away. Time's up, pens down. Send over your answers. Team 2, how do you feel about your answers? Uh. Team 1, Team 1, please read out your answers. Um, the first answer is lesbians, gays, bisexual, transgender, intersexual. Thank you. Team 2, please read out your answers. Lesbian, gays, uh, queer, and trans transgender. And your second question? Sexual transmitted infections. And your second question? Sexual transmitted infections. Thank you. We are going to move on to the next set of questions. Question number three. 
In the treatment of tuberculosis, what does the abbreviation DOT stand for? And question number four, what is an OI in relation to AIDS management? I'll repeat the questions. Question number three, in the treatment of tuberculosis, what does the abbreviation DOT stand for? And question number four, what is an OI in relation to AIDS management? Questions are getting intense. Who will reign in this episode? This isn't about strength or might. No, no, no. This is about teamwork and sexual reproductive health knowledge. Tembani, over to you. Up, pens down. And please read out your answers and hand over your paper. Uh, DOT is a daily observed treatment. And OI is opportunistic infections. Thank you. Team two. Uh, number one, direct observed, observed therapy. Then number two, opportunistic infections. Thank you. For the benefit of the viewers at home, I will run down through the questions and answers of this segment. So for question number one, the answers are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex and queer. For question number two, the answer is sexually transmitted infection. For question number three, the answer is direct observed treatment. And for question number four, the answer is opportunistic infection. More of this after the break. Stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break. Welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUPC2019, hashtag Inspire Learning, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Quizmaster, let's get to it. This is segment two of the best of the university's quiz challenge and what an exciting first round that we have had. Interestingly, my friends from Lupani, what do you think about the first segment? Interesting. Just interesting? <laughs> yes, yes, interesting. We're learning more and having fun. And how nervous are you, are you right now? And now we're calm. You are calm. Remember, I would love to hear what you think, so don't forget to hashtag us. It's hashtag inspire learning, hashtag BOTUQC2019, and hashtag unique challenge. Are you, re are you guys ready? Question number five. Give one example of a combination of drugs in first-line treatment of HIV. Question number six. Name one form of sexual harassment. I'll repeat the questions. Question number five. Give one example of a combination of drugs in first-line treatment of HIV. And question number six. Name one form of sexual harassment. Both teams are definitely going for the win. The first line of treatment is critical for any HIV patient. A lot of young people are facing sexual harassment on a daily basis, yet some don't actually know they're being harassed. Let's talk about it right here on the Best of the University's Quiz Challenge. Over to you, Timbani. Time's up, pens down. Um, on the first question, say therapine and tenor fever. Then the second question, say sexually related comment without consent. Thank you. Team two, please read out your answer. Tenophobia, lamivudine, and defavorins. Then the second one is touching girls' buttocks without consent. Thank you. And out of interest, out, out of interest, team two, what do you normally do for fun at your university? For fun? Yes. Uh, we normally uh, go out for some activities, outdoor activities. Really? Yes. Anyways, question number seven. When, domestic, when, when was the Domestic Violence Act enacted in Zimbabwe? And question number eight. What is the age of what is the age definition of in years of adolescent? I'll repeat the question. Question number seven. When was the Domestic Violence Act enacted in Zimbabwe? And question number eight. What is the age definition in years of an adolescent?
clock is ticking. Let's see if Lupana State University or Bindra University of Science Education know when the Domestic Violence Act was enacted. Do you as a young person know when the Domestic Violence Act was enacted? Join us live on Facebook and join us in on this interesting conversation on the best of the university's quiz challenge. Over to you, Tembani. Time's up, pens down. Please read out your answer and hand over your paper. Okay, our first answer was 2003, and our second answer is 10 to 19 years. Thank you. Team two? The first answer is 2014, then the second answer is 12 years. Thank you. For the benefit of the readers, uh, for, of the viewers at home, I'm going to read out the answers of this segment. So for question number five, the answers that I have are tenophobia, nevirapine, and efavirens. For question number six, the answers that I have are verbal, physical, and non-verbal. For question number seven, the answer I have is 2007. And for question number eight, the answer that I have is 10 to 19. Do join us after the break for segment three of the best of the university quiz challenge. Stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break. Welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC2019, hashtag inspire learning, and hashtag unique challenge. Quizmaster, let's get to it. And this is the third segment of the best of the university's quiz challenge. What an exciting first two segments that we had and now we are going to see how they are going to fare on their third and final segment. Sandeka, how are you feeling? More and more excited. And I can see that you are all dressed in black. Still more. And white. Like red minds think alike. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> that makes you a great team, don't you think? Yeah. Question number nine. In which year was the Zimbabwe Termination of Pregnancy Act enacted? And question number 10. Under what three circumstances can pregnancy be terminated in Zimbabwe? I will repeat the question. Question number 9. In which year was the Zimbabwe Termination of Pregnancy Act enacted? And question number 10. Under what three circumstances can pregnancy be terminated in Zimbabwe? Termination of pregnancy is an uncomfortable topic that most people shy away from. Let's talk about it on the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, follow us live on Facebook and follow us on Twitter so you can join the conversation and break the silence. Over to you, Tambani. Time's up, pens down. Please read out your answer and hand over your paper. Oh, for question one, we say it 2014. Then for question two, uh, we grouped our answers according to A, B, and C. Then the first answer is when it is as a result of unlawful sexual encounter. B, when it threatens the life of a mother. And C, when there is a possibility that the baby will be born with a disability. Thank you. Team 2, please read out your answer and hand over your question, your paper. The first one is 2001. And the second one is uh, when the mother is, when there's rape, the mother is raped. And when it causes harm to the mother, when, uh, if the mother is physically deformed. Thank you. Question number 11. Who was Zimbabwe's first female minister of defense? And question number 12. Who was the first... First Lady of Zimbabwe. I'll repeat question number 11. Who was, the who was Zimbabwe's first female Minister of Defense? And question number 12. Who was the first First Lady of Zimbabwe? So much has been learned in this segment. If you haven't learned anything as a young person, you're definitely missing out. Remember to catch us live on Facebook so you can be part of the conversation and get more knowledge on sexual reproductive health. The teams fought to the last. Let's see who triumphs. Over to you, Tembani. Time's up, pens down. 
Uh, our first answer was Opam Chinguri. Uh, and our second answer was Salim Mukari. Thank you, Team 2. Our first answer is Opam Chinguri. The second answer is Salim Kabe. Thank you. So, an overall recap of the answers to this segment. For question number 9, the answer is 1977. For question number 10, the answer is A. When continuation of the pregnancy so endangers the lives of the woman or threatens her physical health. For B. Where there is a serious risk that the child to be born may suffer from a physical or mental defect of such a nature that he or she will permanently be seriously handicapped. C. Where there is a reasonable grounds that the fetus is as a result of a pregnancy from unlawful sexual intercourse such as rape and incest. For question number 11, the answer is Opamu Chinguri Kashiri. And for question number 12, the answer is Janet Banana. Results coming after this commercial break. It was a new word. I didn't know what acoustics was. So if each time it was mentioned, I was uh, like looking forward to seeing something um, different, only to be surprised that they were just uh, funny old mattresses that came through. And I think eventually when they came, I actually had to run in other people's offices and come and see the acoustics. They are here. And <laughs> So when Ian came, I asked him, Ian, what are acoustics? That's when he tried to explain to me and telling me that um, these are basically things that um, try to buffer the noise and all. Yeah. You said the place looks like it's now good. Oh yeah, the, on Sunday, or when it was set up, I actually said, I'm not coming to work tomorrow because it looks like a voodoo house. I'm not trusting this guy. Perchance you want to practice voodoo at this workplace. <laughs> because it was so dark. Yeah. And then the, the lights and the, the, the screens and the Yes, it, um, when they came along, it took like holy hoodies. I think that was my first comment when I came. I said, oh, so finally now it looks like Hollywood, Ian. Is the results. Welcome to the best of the university quiz challenge. And with me here are the score sheets. How are you feeling, guys? A little bit nervous. Huh? You are really nervous. <laughs> yes. I, I can see you are shaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys? Oh, anxious to find out the results. Are you still growing confident? The point is to learn and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Lupana State University succeeds with 87.5 points, whilst Bindura University of Science Education lags behind with 72.5 points. A big round of applause to both Lupana State University and Bindura University of Science Education. See you in the next episode. I know you've been anxious to wait for the team that went inside to come back. Now they are back. I'm here with the Lupana State University team, Team Orion. These teams were very, very enthusiastic as they went in. So now I want to find out from them, how was it inside there? And I want to find out how are you guys feeling? Captain, 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 Captain. Where are you Pagatlapan. Pagatlapan, actually, we were taken by surprise. Uh, we didn't expect such questions, though we are learning a lot during the process. Well, what do you know? It's full of surprises because it is the best of the university's quiz challenge 2019. And I'm here, I'm excited. I want to know how you're feeling and I want to know if you think you'll make it for the next round. And if you are going to make it, do you think you'll be making it for the semifinals? Because it keeps getting tougher and tougher. Ah, now that we are done with the first round, we are very much confident that we are going to be going higher and higher and higher. I like that. I like the team spirit, motivation. These guys are looking forward to more. And I'm also looking forward to it. Don't forget our hashtags. Don't forget to hashtag Inspire Learning. Don't forget to hashtag Unique Challenge. And I'll be still waiting for these guys also maybe to make something better in the next round. So see you next time. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, these results are going to be tallied. And the teams...